Welcome everyone to Orbital Corporation Limited's annual general meeting for 2021. I can advise that a quorum exists and so I declare the annual general meeting open. Um, before I hand over to Managing Director and CEO for an update, I'd like to provide my own comments on the performance of the company, the progress we're making in our sector, uh, and some comments on uh, how we're evolving in what is a very interesting domestic and global initiative. During the year, the executive teams continued to work and deliver on our customer diversification strategy. Now, having added North of Grumman and one of Singapore's largest event companies to the portfolio in 2020, this year we've captured two new engine development programs with Textron Systems and announcing a exciting new MOU recently with Skyways, an emerging leader in UAV cargo transport. The additional programs at work demonstrate the continued demand for our technology uh, and the broadening of our customer portfolio is incredibly encouraging, particularly as we witness a far more competitive landscape within the tactical UAV sector. The growth path we're highlighting, uh, and particularly in our presentation recently, um, uh, when we launched a pro rata renounceable entitlement offer to shareholders on the back of an additional new engine upgrade with Textron Systems. The second contract signed with Textron in the space of seven months is testament to positive work, uh, and it also demonstrates the requirement and the use of the development funding we've just raised. Uh, in order to backstop this growth, um, the entitlement offer has raised $6.5 million and the funds uh, support the contracted engine development programs, enhance our production facility here in Australia, and particularly in Western Australia, and derive, um, drive our product research and development. Finally, uh, and most importantly, I'd like to thank the entire Orbital UAV team um, for their efforts and performance during 2021. And I think with the uncertainty of the coronavirus pandemic, the challenging and changing commercial environment the company's faced, they've continued to demonstrate a commitment to ensuring Orbital UAV delivers globally recognised and industry-leading products and services um, and work hard on behalf of all shareholders. So let me talk a little bit about the, uh, about the future. Um, obviously, we build... Uh, we build engines for uh, military drones and we build some of the finest engines for military drones globally. A highlight, so I stood here 12 months ago and I talked about um, how we built engines and shipped engines to Boeing and Situ. Uh, I mentioned briefly that we'd won contracts with a large government Singapore defence organisation and I spoke about how we had won a contract, a research and development contract with Northrop Grumman. I stand here today, 12 months later, and note that um, we've won a further two engine development contracts with Textron System, the largest UAV supplier to the US uh, Army. We've sent the first prototype to uh, Textron Systems, and we've had some fantastic feedback. So very confident that this first engine prototype will meet those milestones and will move into production. Now, in addition, and John mentioned it briefly, we've signed an MOU or a contract with Skyways to develop an engine for a really exciting new industry sector. This is a completely new market. This is sort of working in the US Navy for cargo transport. I'm hoping we've been able to demonstrate a significant customer diversification progress, um, delivering that uh, tier one, so uh, real good quality customers for all of them. Um, and the continued state and federal government support that have real tangible uh, results, e.g. the WA government loan, e.g. the one-to-one uh, -one relationships with influential ministers, etc., etc. Um, the additional growth opportunities that we have, so not just the pipeline of uh, revenue growth ahead of us, but the, the opportunities in some of those FTUAS and US Navy uh, contracts, uh, and then most importantly, delivering on profitability for this financial year. This company started with a grand ambition to change the engine landscape globally and build a, a globally recognised engine company. Uh, the company we have now is very different to that original dream. Um, but listening to that presentation as we have just done, we have developed some technology that are in an incredibly exciting and interesting and challenging industry. And we are producing and building uh, a 
the library where you can jump and do IP space. Thank you.